Every year I start the summer out by doing a 30 day cardio challenge. This year, unfortunately, I broke my femur in April. So, my cardio challenge is gonna look a little different personally. I want you guys to join me. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. I want you to show me what you're doing. 30 minutes a day of cardio for 30 days. Let's go. The concept for 30 day cardio challenge uh, actually kind of originated in the fact that I personally, I don't know if this is just a skier thing in general, but I always tend to get a little out of shape towards the end of the ski season. Through the spring, you know, we usually spend the spring in Europe and you're eating a lot of cheese and bread and going to all different kinds of places and there's all kinds of people who want to celebrate a great season with you. So I always end up getting a little chunky, I would say, towards the end of the season. So uh, it's always seemed appropriate to me to like tighten her up and remember it, you're an athlete and do something cardiovascular for 30 days in a row. This was slated to be my third annual cardio challenge and then I broke my leg in Austria. Broke my femur and I was kind of like, one of my thoughts at the beginning was, well, maybe that's just an excuse not to do the cardio challenge this year because I had already told some people I was gonna do it. I was planning with Justin, my filmer, that we were gonna knock this thing out. And then as I started thinking about it, I was like, actually, no, it's literally the perfect thing for me to do uh, with this basically being one month out, starting June 1st would have been one month out of uh, my femur surgery because I was gonna have to get creative. I was gonna have to make things interesting, but I was also gonna have to stay active, which for me, for my mindset, having been an athlete for so long, uh, long periods of inactivity are not good for me. I know that for a fact, and you can ask my wife, they're just not good for me. So um, I was like, all right, yeah, we're gonna do it. 30 days in a row for 30 minutes a day, we're gonna do something cardio. And it turned into this grand adventure, which I'm super excited to share with you guys. On the inspiration side, I think riding the hand cycle with John was, was, one, of the, was one of my favorite moments. Uh, on the silliness side, definitely some of the river oriented things. Uh, Justin almost getting swept off to sea. Full disclosure, how much experience do you have kayaking? That's a rapid right there, so I'd get into these bushes. This is already pretty sketch. Like, very sketch. Uh, which you guys don't have a clip of, but I can I can attest to it was pretty hilarious, slash slightly scary, uh, in the kayak. But also trying to paddle up river with, his, with all my upper body strength in the kayak when the river was raging was pretty interesting and fun. Definitely learned some lessons about cold water. Like I said, I went out there for the first go. Tried to last as long as I could. Didn't last very long. Realized I couldn't do it, so I told Justin, all right, we're gonna have to take turns. So I would swim for a half, a, for a minute and a half, pop out, lay on the rocks, try to get warm while he swam for a minute and a half, and we'd go back and forth. <laughs> Dude, we are, we're, we're fried. <laughs> 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 all right, that's a wrap, wrap on day nine. Thanks for tuning in. Check us out tomorrow. That was exciting. Uh, how quickly your body starts to shut down and go into like survival mode or hypothermia mode with the cold water. Um, man, all the fun family adventures. It's gotten to the point now where my kids are like, what are we doing for 30 day cardio challenge today? Uh, now, that the, now that the project's wrapped up, uh, we're, I'm, I'm, I've kept it going. I've kept the, my streak going. I haven't stopped my streak of, of 30 minutes of cardio a day. It's obviously not within the 30 days anymore, but now Nayeli every day is like, what are we doing for cardio challenge? She gets so excited about what the next adventure is. I think their favorite, their favorite part was certainly riding around in the, uh, in the wagon, getting dragged around and dragging each other around. That was pretty fun. So I started with all these crazy good ideas, you know, borrowed kayaks, borrowed my buddy's unicycle, um, you know, basically just borrowed a bunch of things from people. Cause I was trying to, part of my, plan was to not spend any money on it. So I didn't want to have to rent a bunch of things. So I was trying to ask among friends. I found my old rollerblades, dug those things out. I was looking for anything that I could do with my femur still being injured and have fun with. So, uh, but I ran through those ideas pretty fast and then all of a sudden I was like, ah, what do I do now? So I started just making up workouts as I went. 
Um, and I, or even I had Max make up a couple workouts as I went to, so that was pretty fun. But my favorite one was actually the drag the tire down and back and then try to shoot two arrows and then drag the tire again because uh, I'm training for an archery tournament anyways, so that was perfect. And I didn't do very well on the archery side. So that to me was evidence that I need to do that more. So certainly one of my favorite ah. things. If I can give you guys any tips on cardio or getting training, training for cardio type things, or even just trying to be fitter in life, consistency is everything. It really matters that you show up and do it, even if it's not at the highest quality. Because uh, I hated the first couple days because I was still pretty fresh out of surgery. I was a month out. Uh, my blood levels hadn't come up completely to normal where they were, where they should have been. Do I, do I still get to excuse myself for having less blood than normal? Nope. Or is that over? Yeah, it's awesome. Y'all should join me. So cardio was really challenging for me for those first couple days. And I, like I said, I, I had been sitting in a hospital for 10 days and I felt horrible. But every day I felt a little bit better and a little bit stronger. And by the end, when the 30 minutes was up, I was like, oh, that's it. Like, let's keep going, let's keep going. And so I would just say that that's a huge thing when it comes to training for something. You just gotta show up, you gotta be consistent because um, you'll surprise yourself how much progress you make if you're consistent. But you'll surprise yourself equally by how little progress you can make if you're not consistent. If you're like doing things once a week and then you wait a whole week and to, then you do it again once a week, you're gonna feel like you you're gonna feel like you're not getting any better and you might even feel like you're getting worse so you just got to be consistent whether it's whether it's every other day or every three days you got to do something inside that window because once you get into the four or five day window then your body's not remembering what it did last so yeah consistency and um, like I said I'm we're, we're we've already wrapped up the 30-day cardio challenge but I'm, I'm not stopping it for the summer what a healthy way to live your life 30 30 minutes is only 1 48th of the day you can get out and do something active for, for 148 today for sure. For me, the biggest mental challenges were um, trying to stay active and healthy and you know get increased blood flow going on in my body without setting back my recovery with my broken femur. Because the last thing I needed to do was have a big impact or um, even just overstressing the muscles that are recovering or putting too much pressure on the bone wouldn't have been a good thing. So that was the mental, that was a mental challenge for me was just this constant teeter-totter between am I doing enough or am I doing too much? Because I wanted to be doing as much as I could possibly do without doing too much. So um, that was definitely daunting. I had at one point where in the middle, right in the smack in the middle, my feet and my leg was just super swollen and I had to resort to doing pure upper body workouts, which for me, it was a good thing because I realized how much of a lower body athlete I am. I've always been strong. I've always been comparably strong to the people I hang out with. But I've never thought about the fact that most of that strength is in my legs because man, I went to do some of those upper body workouts and I was not very good. So um, yeah, I learned a lot. I learned a, I learned a ton. I learned a ton of new skills. The boxing thing was one of my favorite uh, humbling moments for the month was just realizing that I have no skill at using my hands to connect with things. I am constantly connecting my own hands to my own feet in my sport. We're always grabbing our skis. I'm always spatially aware of where I am. But in terms of actually impacting something else, man, I have no coordination at all. So that was, that was a super fun lesson to learn um, as well as, you know, just the amount of country that I saw near at or near my house, uh, that was a huge, a huge blessing to me. It was like, wow, all of this is right within my right within striking distance, and I pretty much don't notice it most of the time. But because I was trying to get 30 minutes a day in for 30 days in a row, I started exploring and going new places and seeing new things, and seeing some cool stuff. I don't know if you guys remember, but uh, early on, this looked a lot worse than it does now. I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but I feel I feel much better uh, day 31, and uh, I feel much healthier. I'm excited to get out and do more stuff. I think that the health benefit that anybody who would go about doing a 30-day cardio challenge of their own would walk away with more, just bigger and excitement for life because uh, my vitality is higher 
uh, I actually do better because I'm more cardiovascularly trained. Uh, I'm in a better, healthier state physically. Uh, mentally, I have so much more to give. I'm actually better at writing emails. I'm better at writing stories. Um, I'm better at spending time with my wife and hanging out with my kids. So uh, it's not just a physical benefit that I've derived from this thing. It's, it's actually a, a, a full, a full, what do you call it? Full circle experience. So um, yeah, I recommend you guys try it. Just give it a rip. And uh, if you're just following along and living your cardiovascular life through me vicariously, thanks for tuning in. And uh, catch you guys later.